Hello everyone, I'm recording today about Uncharted 3.0. I haven't really been keeping up with it that much. I just found it today. I don't know if it was my game when it bugged or something, but the radio tower never had a message. I went up to it, I went to the helicopter crash, I thought I'd find something. I really don't know, then just uh, looked up all the stuff for it. But either way, I play single player for a few minutes. I saw everything that spawned, I kind of get the grasp of basics, and then with multiplayer. And I'm a bit disappointed in multiplayer. Not, no, I'm not disappointed at all, I'm disappointed at the people playing multiplayer. What happened was, I ran into town, I found a gun, and I started killing people. I killed 11 people in one life. And I went to a building, to kill someone, and he was looking out the window, I shot him. That was pretty easy. And I, I wound up getting about four kills in that building later on. Because people would go in there to pick up like some of the loot that was there. There was a ton of guns, there was clothes, backpacks, etc. And each time I went in there, I, I killed a guy in there. Even though he had a gun, he saw me first. But they all hip fired. They didn't ADS at all. I, and I was pretty disappointed. And the ones that probably did ADS just never stopped shooting. They went full automatic and never stopped. And it kind of disappointed me at how I killed four people at, uh, I think, like 25% health. Which at that point, I was a one hit kill. It takes like three shots to kill someone. And uh, I even had body armor on, but I think it's still a three shot kill. Um, you can take attachments on or off of the only gun in the game, which is the AR-32. You can reload, you have infinite ammo as well. Loot doesn't respawn, there are no zombies, your stuff doesn't save, so if you leave the server, I'm pretty sure it wipes all your equipment. There is no chat, there is no tab, there is, a, at least I didn't see like very many buttons I could rebind, like my inventory key. Um, there is no description for each of the classes if you like doctor, tailor, uh, thief, mechanic, gymnast, there is no description for them, so I don't know what they do exactly. There's only two hair options, there's only two beard options, there's only two face options, um, what else? Um, the editor is pretty hard to use, and I don't know if it's just me, it seems broken as well. I tried to spawn stuff in, and it didn't work, which annoyed me, because I never could figure it out, so I just left until it got more updates. Essentially, the game is unplayable from a uh, recording aspect, or if you want to be able to sit down and play for hours and hours on the end. But as a, I guess you could say, alpha test, it looks very promising. The inventory system looks great. The HUD is, well, I mean, the HUD is just that. It's okay. It's nothing like fancy, which I don't have a problem with. It's pretty simple. And it doesn't take up much of the screen, so it's not like you're having to worry, worry about having your screen cluttered with useless HUD options. Like, there's not a wind meter and a distance meter. There's not. Like, a bunch of crap is just uh, food, hunger, I mean, uh, hunger, thirst, radiation, energy, and health. Not in that order either. Um, there isn't very much to find. There is one food item, one water item, a gun, a backpack, like uh, three hats, I think, two sets of clothes, which would be the jeans and orange hoodie, and a police vest. I think that's about it. Oh, a med kit. You can find med kits too. <laughs> Um, I'm just saying, I personally enjoy how you take out the AR-32, and I like the equip menu, 
but I what I do think should be added is uh, extra gear that you can put on. Like you can put on a pistol holster that is just big enough to hold a pistol. You can put on a uh, like a melee weapon sling or a uh, weapon sling in general that will allow you to hold an extra weapon. This could be a rifle or a melee weapon. Also, I think you should be able to rotate items so that you can fit them better. There should be a... That I notice that is going to be annoying as hell. Is that when I pick up an item, if I right click over one item, it's not going to pick that item up. You have to move that item out of place. This is, if this doesn't get fixed, this is going to be when, it's going to piss me off so much, because that, it, it just helps organize that inventory type system much better. Anyway, I don't see, I don't know how the crafting grid is going to look like. I don't know if it's going to be uh, like the inventory grid, you just put stuff in it and it has a result. Which I think would be pretty good. Kinda, I don't know. Personally, I think there should be a list and you can choose between what you can craft. It'll tell you the materials as well. But you can choose categories like medical, buildables, weapons ammo, stuff like that, that you don't have to look through a large list of items. Anyone that has played Rust, they'll know what I'm talking about. When you're trying to craft stuff and you're having to spend a lot of time looking. Either way, the game looks promising. When I was playing it, it felt like an entirely new game to me. It runs very well, surprisingly. Of course, this could be from lack of content or just how well it's optimized, but at first, when I first loaded in, it was very, very laggy. And a few seconds later, after I moved my mouse around a little bit, I guess it loaded everything up, and it was very smooth. Even during combat, it was very smooth. I didn't have to worry about my FPS dropping. Even when I got shot and my screen flashed, I still had great FPS. I don't know what it was exactly, but so far the optimization is great. And I can uh, probably record if it stays this optimized, I hope. I could be getting, uh, I don't know, 40, 60 frames a second. I'm not entirely sure because I didn't have the FPS turned on because I didn't see any options. But the game looks very promising, and I hope that a lot of problems on turn gets fixed. Which I had, like, I thought that there was. I was playing. I thought this is a huge problem on turn. I hope it gets fixed in this section, like in this new part of the game, which is basically the rework of the game. Which I seriously can't think of what that was. I think it was, um, I, I don't know. It's It was something with, uh, I literally can't remember. But also, one of the little things I've noticed, the little detail objects are actual objects. They're solid things. You can shoot them. They can take bullets. You can hide behind them. In the current on turn 2.0 version, if you will jump on like on the counter of the hardware store in I forgot the city's name and prone, you see the cashier or the ca uh, the register is um uh, not solid, so like you can shoot through it and everything. Like most of the detailed objects are not actually there; they can't take bullets for you or anything. <clears throat> Which, while this is this tends to be very specific scenarios, it still can make a difference. Just the the very small details can make or break a game. Either way, that's the end of this video. I hope that the game keeps continuing like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.